Before moving on, I want to uh, review this concept of grouping and ungrouping. Here I have um, text, I can see the flashing cursor. This is type that I can uh, type in. It's not an object yet. So I'm going to hit the selection tool, the black arrow. I can see the bounding box, type, create outlines. And again, this is all what is known as grouped. Whatever I whatever I select with this uh, the selection tool, it sel selects this as one unit. That's always not easy to work with, especially with uh, modifying type. So again, you select the object, click Object, Ungroup, Deselect, and now I can grab any little chunk character and and move it anywhere I want to. So let's say I want to, um, and I can do marquee selection. So let me let me do a marquee selection. I'll change. I'll grab this whole ungroup and move it down. Let's say I'm happy with this. This is my beautiful design that's going into the Guggenheim, and I want to keep this forever and ever. Well, um, whenever you modify. These are all like separate, so that they're in danger. I could like mistakenly move them or whatever. Do a marquee selection. Remember, these are all individual characters that are ungrouped. Okay. I selected them all with the marquee selection. Go to object group. And now, anywhere I select on this, I can grab it and move it as a unit. So remember whenever you're working with type you always have this under object you have the group and ungroup options available to you so you can always flip back and forth between grouping and ungrouping your objects